Jack, welcome to Crawley. I can imagine you're buzzing to get the deal over the line. Yeah, it's um, obviously I haven't quite quickly to be honest, but um, I've known the gaffer obviously years now, so it was quite easy to get it sort of over the line. And yeah, I'm just happy to be here and can't wait to get going. We know you join us from National League side Eastleigh, but you've got plenty of EFL experience ranging over us like a few different clubs. Yeah, I played for a few. To be fair, got a good number of games in the league. Um, I dropped out at a time where probably shouldn't have, but hindsight's a wonderful thing. But um, I'm just buzzing to be back in the league, really. And the club here um, ticks all the boxes for me. Yeah, it's not just League Two experience. You've got Championship experience as well with Peterborough. You know, you bring a lot of really good and sort of high quality EFL experience to the team this year. Yeah, so I've had early on in my career, I sort of peaked a little bit, and then it sort of plateaued. But I'm sort of I'm still the same player, it just I took different choices at probably the wrong time. But now I'm here again, I want to get back well, get back in the league, get back in the team first of all. Um, obviously the squad here is really strong, so I've got to work hard and make sure I get in the team um, and make sure I stay in the team. And obviously speaking on that EFL experience, we know at Blackpool when you were in League 2 you did get promoted through the playoffs. I suppose you'll be looking to channel some of that experience into something quite similar this season. Yeah, look, if I can bring anything to the group that's going to sort of enhance that and try and get us up to the top of that table then yeah I'm going to bring everything I can um, but yeah I think that's the aim for every club I think you want to get out of the league you're in and obviously the playoffs is brilliant but I think we'd rather win the league <laughs> How much did you see of the team last year? see quite a bit I know a few of the boys obviously I know Hesse, Pauli, uh, George Tom Nichols. we sort of flicked over at Peterborough when he joined and I left um, so yeah I see the, obviously the FA Cup games so it was quite publicised um, and obviously I know the gaffer so you always look out for people that you know in football and what results so yeah, I see quite a bit of it, to be honest. I suppose it probably helps a little bit, doesn't it, joining a new club, knowing you've got so many familiar faces around you. I know you listed about five players there, and you go back with the gaffer quite a way as well. Yeah, I've known the gaffer probably nine years now, when he was at Gillingham together. Um, never had the chance in that, in that period to get back and work together, but thankfully now he's um, brought me in and we can start working together again. Was he part of the driving force in getting you through like, to the club? Or was that like a main sort of instigator for you to want to join Crawley? Yeah, I think because I know the way he works. I know the way he likes to have a tight knit group, um, which I think this year is going to be really important. Obviously, with budgets etc., everyone's going to be taking a hit because of COVID. Um, and the way the gaffer gets his groups together, um, that's something that I'd lo love to be part of. And thankfully, that I'm going to be part of this year. And obviously, not not too long now until the start of pre-season. I think it's the 1st of July, you're back with the lads. I can imagine you're just buzzing to get involved, you know, get stuck in with the group. Yeah, so I'm going to have a couple of weeks just chilling out and then I'll start sort of doing little bits and bobs again. Um, but yeah, I just want to get involved now. Like I've been out of the league a couple of years, so I'm just I'm dying to get back in now. Yeah, you say a couple probably deserved weeks of rest because you played quite a lot of games this year. I think when I looked earlier, it was about 46, 47 games for EC last year. Yeah, I think I think I missed two games last year and I've played every minute of the other. So um, the last two seasons have probably done the same. So I'm fit and I'm healthy and I'm just ready, raring to go, really. And I suppose a lot of the fans maybe perhaps wouldn't have seen you play. So what sort of player would you describe yourself as? Um, love to get on the ball want to pass it but can also mix it up. I think that's why the gaffer sort of brought me in a little bit because I'm a bit experienced. I love a tackle, even though my size probably you look at me and think that you don't, but I do and I think that's what the gaffer wanted to bring me in just for a little bit of experience and just to come and help the boys out. Hey, you mentioned there your previous relationship with Jake Kessenthal and he'll be one of the people you're battling with next year for the centre midfield spot alongside Jack Power and I suppose it's just it's great to have lots of healthy competition there for you as well. Yeah, I think it, as long as you, the gaffer does it right, you get a good group in. If your mate's playing in front there, then you support them all the way until you get your chance. And I think that's the way it needs to be when you've got a smaller group of players. Because um, if you get people that are moaning and whinging and talking behind people, it never works. Um, and I think obviously this year you've had a really good, you've got a really good group. So. Hopefully I can just add to that. Yeah, you mentioned there the really good group. Obviously everyone's been really together this year. It's been a really tough year, as you've mentioned already, with the COVID and stuff. But it's good that you've got people around you that you know and that, you know, John's bringing in players that he knows from, you know, as you say, nine years. That that always helps bring your squad like closer together, I think. Yeah, I think when you know people, you know how they work and you know how you're going to fit into that sort of situation. I think it always helps. And obviously COVID this year is going to be financially impacting on everyone. So you want to bring the right people in because you know you're not going to be able to bring loads and loads of players in, so you've got to get the right uh, people in the group, and thankfully the, the gaffer's uh, brought me in. Yeah, it's been a while playing without fans as well, and I suppose you'll just be looking forward to hopefully the first game of the season when we'll have plenty of Reds fans out there chanting in your name for the first time. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a, a home game to start with, just to get all the fans back in, because all the fans across the country have missed the football, but um, yeah, I can't wait to get involved now and um, obviously start mixing with everyone at the club. 
Jack, welcome to Crawley. Thank you very much.